Hey everybody, it is Rachel here, and uh, I seem to only come to you when there is a severe weather going on. Um, I want to show you my my snowstorm. It might be a little hard to see. It looks like it's a little fuzzy, but um, that is what we're dealing with today in Connecticut. And um, but I just wanted to tell you something really cool about being connected to um the world of subtle energy and how it can help you live your life. I mean, really practical way here. So um, for about a week now, I've had this itch right, right here, right there. And um, it's just driving me insane. I mean, it's waking me up at night and it's just, it's like you can never really get it. It's just always there and it's really, really annoying, especially when you have shoes on and you can't really get to it. Um, and I just didn't know what was causing it. Sorry, that was just my barrette. I didn't know what was causing it. I had no idea and it was really, 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 really driving me crazy. So, finally I was annoyed enough to go, duh, <laughs> let me figure this out. Um, because everything that happens to us physically has an energetic component to it. So, you know, normally that means we can find out what's the cause of, of what's going on. So, I looked up, I have this reference book that has all of the reflexology points and everything, and I looked it up, and it turns out that that particular spot on the bottom of my foot is all about my kidney, and I have kidney issues as a general rule. But, um... You know, like, healers will tell me that um, when they are doing their work on me. Like, oh, do you have any issues with your kidneys? And I'll say, yes, I do. I uh, won't get into that too much. But anyway, I don't know why I never bothered to, like, check that out before. I knew it had to do with um, the fire element, but that's about it. But then, I love this book, Heal Your Body. So good. All I had to do was look up kidneys in it. And it says, uh, it's about allowing yourself to grow up and to react, you know, in a more adult way. And that made a lot of sense because for some reason, when some people talk to me, I like, I'll react in this childlike way. And, um, I, that comes from probably issues with authority and I can tell does that make sense when I look back on when I used to work for other people? And so putting all the information together, the itch, the spot that's itching, um, the fact that I'm itching in the first place, I looked up itching too, and then the kidney and putting it all together and that I need to allow myself to grow up and start reacting in an adult way. Wow, that's a whole big thing there, and that's something I can do something about instead of just complaining about itching my foot. Um, so, being open to investigating the subtle aspect of what is happening to you can really save you a whole lot of frustration. And if I had done this in the first place a week ago, I would have been even less frustrated. Um, but so it goes. So that is just one way that connecting to the subtle energies and accepting yourself as the energetic being that you are can help you tremendously. Um, oh, and I just should say one thing. I just recently changed my picture on my website and my Facebook page. And um, I did get the comment that I look more grown up now. And for a long time, anything I would do, like, you know, cut my hair or wear new clothes or whatever, I would always get the same comment. Oh, you look so much younger now. And that's not exactly what I wanted. I mean, I I tend to look a little bit young anyway. And getting into business for yourself, you don't necessarily want to look 12. <laughs> um, so this, the picture was the perfect affirmation of me Growing up, I just did this yesterday, and then, of course, today, I find out that that's what the cause was. So, between yesterday and today, 
uh, putting up the picture allowed me to be able to see the information and to take it in and to process it. Before that, it was just a block, which is why I did not look up the information in the first place. So, wow, I didn't know this would be a five minute explanation, but um, this stuff is really cool. So if you have a physical issue at the moment, look it up. Look up, you know, if it's on your body, what meridian line is it on? What does that mean? What organ is it near? What element does that correspond to? Um, get this book, Heal Your Body by Louise Hay. I mean, it's just a great resource. You can look it up online. Um, you know, everything has a meaning and everything really is defined online. You can find so much there and definitely invest in some uh, reference books if you're going to be doing it a lot because it's just it's easier that way okay i hope this was helpful to you and thanks for listening to my sharing experience and i'll talk to you soon bye